Hello again. Um, today I'm going to tie for you this uh, little sand shrimp. Now, this is basically um, Colin McLeod's, I think he calls it his Romy's shrimp. Now, I'm sure I'll be corrected if I'm wrong, but I think it's Romy's or Romy's shrimp. Um, it isn't exact to how Colin ties it because I don't have the exact dubbing. What I've done for this dubbing to try and emulate the dubbing that he uses, he uses Spectra dubbing, which is this stuff here, but I couldn't get the colour that he used. Um, so what I've done is I've mixed a little bit of yellow with a little bit of olive and a tiny bit of gold SLF and, sorry, gold F SLF. Um, and I've come up with this kind of color here. Now, it's a kind of yellow olive. That's how I would describe it. Um, I've not fished this fly yet, um, but I have been being mugged off by mullet the last few evenings, so I thought, right, let's tie some of these up and see if I can catch them on these. So this one's a size 14 in the vise. I've tied myself a couple of size 14s and now I'm going to tie myself a couple of size 12s. So I thought, why not film the 12? Now, like I said, this probably isn't exact to how Colin ties it, as in the materials. Again, Colin, Colin comes into the shop quite a lot um, and he uses uh, a Camazan, I think it's a B110 or a B100, but in gold. Now, in true Muss style, I left my gold hooks at home, so I'm just using a heavyweight grub hook in 12 in a black. Um, again, you know, if this fails me when I go down there next to the creek, then I shall dig out my gold ones and see if that does make a difference. But um, uh, thread is just a white UTC 70. I don't really want to have much build up here, so a nice thin thread. And we're just going to start the thread behind the eye. And in touching turns, we're just going to come all the way round to past opposite where the barb would be. Um, the barb's actually in the jaws of the vice. Um, and I'm going to come around the corner a little bit. Now, this is red wool. That's all it is. So I'm going to take some red wool and I'm going to manipulate this in my fingers until I've got a thickness that I'm happy with. And then I'm going to trim the end. And this, I'm going to initially tie in full length of the hook. I can always trim this. So I'm just gonna catch it where I ended the thread and gently, 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 I'm gonna run the thread up, tying this in. Now, ideally, I want this to stay on top of the hook. Um, it's not, you know, don't worry if it does roll round on you. I don't, I don't think it's going to make a massive amount of difference. I'm just going to wax my thread. I'm just going to wax my thread. Keep tapping the wall and kind of keep it on the top if you can. Come up nice and tight all the way to the eye. And now I'm going to tie in just a simple monofilament rib, he says. He had a lovely bit that, he, um, that I cut off, sorry. Um, but we'll just cut another bit off, it's fine. This is literally just um, uh, a monofilament thread. I think it's six pound. Um, so we're gonna tie that in as my rib. Again, I'm just gonna wax my thread. I'm gonna come back a little bit. I'm gonna catch the mono. I'm gonna run it down. Again, nice and tight. Keeping it all nice and tight. Don't worry about if your turns aren't 100% touching. Not gonna matter. And now I'm gonna tie in um, my shell back. And the shell back, I'm literally gonna just use clear body stretch. So I'm just gonna take 
a section of that. Normally I'd keep this on the card, but for the um, for ease, just for the video, I'm just gonna cut myself off a little bit, but you will get wastage. I've cut a little tag, almost like a little pencil point. I bring the thread back halfway. I'm gonna catch the clear body stretch on top and then giving it a little stretch, but not much, keeping it square on the back of the hook, we're gonna run it down all the way to the tail, like that. And now I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna make sure that's tied in properly. Bit of wax on my thread, and just have a bit of a tidy up. There we go, that's lovely. And now it's just a case of adding your dubbing. So we're gonna put, this dubbing that I was talking about earlier. We're gonna dub that on the thread. We will be brushing this out a little bit, but not a lot. I've noticed these shrimps are very, very skinny in profile. So that's how, you know, that's how it obviously works best because believe you me, if there's one man that knows his mullet fishing, it's Colin. Um, so I'm just gonna take this up. Gonna take it up. All the way. Trying to keep a, a nice kind of shrimpy shape. I actually want that a bit thinner. So I'm gonna come back to the start. I'm gonna stretch the start out a bit. There we go. Catch. Stretch it out all the way to the eye. I just want a little tiny bit more, a little tiny bit more. As you can see, I never got quite to the eye. Very simple fly to tie. And I, to be honest with you, a lot, a lot of the good flies, a lot of the great famous old flies are the simple ones. Now, when you get to the eye, I'm gonna wax my thread. Just add grip, it's always important to wax your thread. We're gonna bring the clear stretch over. Mind in the rib, we don't wanna bring him over just yet. I'm gonna give it a little pull, this clear stretch. I'm gonna give it a little pull. I'm gonna come over, trap it, have a look. I want that a little bit thinner, so I'm gonna give it a little bit more of a stretch. Trap it, come in, keeping the thread nice and tight. Till you're happy. Just, it's just fighting me a little bit. That, oh dear. <laughs> That's better. Oh, hands, muscle, white strikes again. There we go. Keeping the thread nice and tight. Come in and then pull it back wherever that's gone. Come on, you little monkey. There he is, pull it back. Just gonna come over it a little bit. And now we're gonna trim. And I'm gonna stretch and snip. Wax the thread. You know, take your time doing things like that. You've got to, you've got to be happy with the fly. Otherwise, like I've said before, you'll never fish it. And now we're gonna come round with my rib and just come up, ribbing it over. If the body stretch tries to really spin round on you, just manhandle it. Nice and tight with the rib. And then when we get to the eye, we're gonna catch it with the thread. A couple of turns, double check your wax. Whoops, a daisy, couple more turns, holding this back. And then again, we're gonna come in, trim nice and tight. Now, varnish on your thread, like I always do. It's a very, it's the easiest way to varnish small flies with small heads. We're gonna come in, one, two, three, 
four or five is plenty. We're going to tighten that thread up. We tighten the thread up, we're going to trim it. There we go. And now I'm going to come in with a bit of a brush. And I'm just going to brush out. Brush out some legs. But again, I've noticed Colin doesn't have like really, really long legs. As far as I am aware, now I'm sure I'm going to be corrected again if I'm wrong here, but that's pretty much how it looks. Um, I'm going to come in and trim this tag a little bit shorter. Now I've tied it, that's it. And there we have it. That is a little mullet fly, shrimp pattern. Um, very, very heavily influenced. It's pretty much an exact copy apart from the dubbing of Colin McLeod's Romy's Shrimp. And let's hope it catches me a mullet because at the moment, I've still not managed to catch one. They are testing, very, very trying. But again, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you watching them. Um, it does mean a lot. Um, please subscribe to the channel because that will help this channel to grow. Um, and hit the like button. And don't forget to hit the the bell notification when you subscribe and then and then you'll literally be notified every time I put a new video up. Um, give this one a go and if you do manage to catch a mullet, don't tell me because I'll be massively jealous. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. See ya.